Okay, in the last video I just stopped having decided what duration values were going to be. So I decided that 60 milligrams here at 5000 revs per minute was going to be 44 degrees of duration and I went down this side. And I also pointed out that I couldn't actually go down this side without getting a value from this side to tell this map selection what to do. So you see how it starts to get more complicated. Right, so what I would like to do on this side then is pick my SOI or my start of injection point. Now I've got a set of maps. So I've got a set of base maps, usually numbered 0 to 9, and I've got a selector which picks which one of those maps I will be using, so it will pick 0 to 9, and the choice is dependent on engine temperature, so depending on what the current engine temperature is, I will pick either 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, so I've got 10 maps 0 to 9. Now once the engine's hot it will be picking 9 anyway, so we'll just assume that no one is daft enough to tune their engine when it's cold, so we'll assume that everybody is going to be thinking about 9 anyway. So we've got map 9 and we can pick a value and then we can use it to select over here just like we've already said. But it's not quite as simple as that because if you look at a lot of VAG diesel files what you find is yep, here's a choice 0 to 9 and I've picked 9. But if you look closely very often there is some other maps known as dynamic maps. Now these dynamic maps include all of the SO9 usually, so in other words they are start of injection 9, plus a little bit of dynamic timing, in other words true timing advance that's got nothing to do with duration change, it's simply an advance in timing to give a little bit more power at some point because of the timing in advance and not because the duration got longer and forced start of injection to start earlier. Now usually with these maps these figures don't change, so in other words this 27 degrees before top dead centre that's on that map, the SOI 9, would be the same on the dynamic map because the designers don't normally allow for a possibility of this having dynamic advance at these wide open throttle values. So these two at this point are very often the same. Now of course that means that whereas this value could have chosen that duration map, it might be this value, whatever value is in here, could be choosing that map. Now and finally of course there is a limiter for start of injection, and again it's a sort of a temperature dependent limiter, but we've got a limiter, and that limiter says not so much which of these is okay, because when you look at it, it basically is a choice. So in other words, the result here could be that map, that map, or it could just ignore all the maps and pick a value off of the limiter. So in other words, the value that is chosen could be any of those three. And so again, the value that's chosen to select duration could be the value off the limiter, because basically what will be chosen at the end by the ECU is the smallest that is reasonable. So it might be that one, it might be that one, or it might be that one. And there are whole loads of little values buried in these files that the ECU can double check against. So in other words, there will be values that say when SOI 9 can be used, and of course that's usually just the temperature, so it might be something like 80 degrees. But there might be another value buried somewhere that says this map can be used as long as the temperature is above a certain value, and quite often that's not quite as high as this one, or it's the same but they could be slightly different, and again the temperatures here should balance against these two, but you have to look at the files to find out. But okay, let's say that, because we're at wide open throttle, it doesn't actually matter which one of these we've picked, because we've simply picked whichever one is the best value we could get, and it's usually these one of these two, because what you often find is that perhaps this one has been set at 30 before top dead centre and if these two are maxed at 27 the ECU is going to pick 27 because it picks the lowest not the highest. Right, okay so now we've got a chosen start of injection value, that start of injection value will in 
determine which duration map we're using so that's how that side works but we've already talked about that and at this point there are some more adjustments that kick in on some of the files there might be an air temperature adjustment and that usually is literally just an adjustment so it might be either a slight multiplication figure so a very small multiplication figure or more often an actual number for SOI that's added on and it's usually in the order of one degree so we're not talking about huge numbers so there might be a change of let's say an extra added on one degree here as a result of air temperature adjustment maybe it will be less than one degree or maybe it'll be a minus number and there will be a change as a result of the air temperature there air pressure here and finally we will have our value now going back to this selection up here when that is selected again could be here so it could be there it could be there it could be the result of the three here it could be after that adjustment or it could be after this adjustment so it's here so it could be that this final ultimate value is the one that determines what's going on up there and again you have to dig pretty hard through a file to find out what is being accepted and what isn't it's quite difficult sometimes okay so here we go then we've got to the point where we've got duration map telling us duration one 44 degrees duration 60 milligrams 5000 revs and at the same revs and the same milligrams we are going to start injecting at 27 degrees before top dead center simple as that apart from the silly diagram that's underneath so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there and I'm going to come back to the silly diagram that's underneath and try to explain what the two are doing and how they're interacting with each other